What's up guys, it's Matters and we are actually going to be talking about the bank returning from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now this is actually going to be pretty cool because the bank, obviously, you know, it had its pros, it had its cons. We're going to go over majority of those in this video and we're going to talk about why this may actually fit for Black Ops 3 based on some of the leaks we've seen and based on just what we're inferring for Black Ops 3 Zombies so far. Now the bank in general, the bank was something introduced in transit it was around for most of the maps except mob of the dead and except origins you had transit die rise and buried so you did have a good couple maps to you know spread your points especially when those maps actually released it was really cool to like okay i'm gonna play some buried to get all these points and then i'm gonna use it on transit it was a really cool method it was a really cool way of just saving your points um and it, it's it was so useful it was useful for easter eggs especially for transit you needed a ton of points to get all the emp grenades if uh, you, i'm pretty sure it was richtofen's easter egg um it was good for just getting all your guns ready getting everything pack a punched if you lose points let's say from buried from the witches you can go back to the bank just get your points back um there's a really just like a ton a whole load of i guess advantages of having your points in the bank um putting your twenty thousand points at the end of your uh, game in the bank before you die or when you're when you know you're about to die and then you have those twenty thousand points for the next game it was just such a good thing to have in the game but with pros, there's always cons. Now the cons, and I think the number one sort of bad thing about the bank was obviously that it took the fun, it literally took the fun out of zombies. And I don't necessarily agree with that, but I do understand where people are coming from. Um, you know, round one, you can basically get everything on the map, open up every single door, pack a punch, get all your guns, get all your perks on round one if you just have points stocked up in the bank, and it really did suck for people who really just wanted to play zombies legit. Origins Mob of the Dead, it wasn't the same, um, but still, the other three maps, pretty important maps, even the transit, a lot of people didn't play, buried in dire eyes, you know, it, a lot of people played those, and sometimes it ruined the map for them, and Black Ops 3, oh, I'm, not, I'm not so sure how this is going to translate, because Shadows of Evil in itself... Based on the leaks we've seen, especially with the gumballs, I am not so sure if the bank would exactly fit on top of having gumballs and on top of having all these crazy features. I think it would be uh, way too hectic, way too insane, and way too OP if you had a bank in Shadows of Evil. Just think about a bank in Shadows of Evil with all the well, all the abilities that you can get. Shadows of Evil, you know, the map is offering so much stuff that if you had points and round one you took 20,000 points out of the bank, you would be set for the whole map. Now, obviously, we are not so sure how easy or hard the map is. We don't know, you know, if these gumballs are actually good, if, you know, these other abilities, these swords, these elemental staff things, uh, if those are actually good. We don't know if you have to progress through the map, like you can't do everything on round one. You have to, like, wait certain amounts of rounds to get to certain areas, to pack, or anything. We don't know that. But what we do know is that Shadows of Evil has a lot of stuff to your advantage, and I'm guessing... With, you know, having this huge surplus of points at your, like, bank, or at the bank, or wherever it is, um, it's really gonna, I guess, in, like, destroy the experience of playing Shadows of Evil, at least that's what I think. Um, so, like I said, we'll have to see. I was always a fan of the bank. I liked it. Um, some people didn't. I think in moderation it's good. You, you just gotta be like, okay, well, you know what, I'm not gonna take all the points, but I'll just take a few, whatever, um, play through the map, we'll get there, whatever. Because um, sometimes you have too many points, and you don't even know what to do with them, so it doesn't really matter. But, Shadows of Evil, we'll have to see. Maybe the Giant would be better for a bank. I don't know, the Giant, not that big of a map. But then again, if you had the bank on the Giant, you'd be able to literally get everything around one also. So, it, we'll have to see. Um, maybe for future maps, they'll do it. You never know. But right now... I am not so sure, especially for Shadows of Evil, I don't think they're going to do that. Um, so yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, tell me guys what do you think about the bank in the comment section below. Were you guys always like fans of the bank? Well, not you know, not necessarily fans, I should say, but more of just like, you know, advocates of, or just like, oh yeah, you know what, I'm going to use the bank, why not? It's cool, it's there, I'll take some points. Or tell me guys if you completely hated it, if you really didn't like the bank and just you didn't, you, you don't want it ever again. Um, so let me know in the comment section below. I would love to see uh, your feedback and your thoughts on this. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.